Children, today is the first Friday of the month. We again remind ourselves how full uh, and filled with love and charity our Lord Jesus was when he chose to suffer and die on the cross so that we could go to heaven despite all the bad things we have done in our own lives. There's no greater uh, love than to give one's life for another. And our Lord certainly has loved us so much that he rather went through all that passion and torture and very cruel and painful death than would see uh, even one of us to be perished and suffer eternally. Instead, that great sacrifice on the cross, it has given life to us, eternal life in heaven, where suffering and death are no more. In order to make sure that all the generations and all the people in the whole earth would be uh, reconciled with God and with this holy sacrifice which Jesus did on the cross, our Lord established his Catholic Church and he appointed apostles uh, to lead that church. And later on these, ap these apostles would consecrate bishops to ensure the continuation of the Catholic Church throughout all ages to apostolic succession. And the very favorite of our Lord among the twelve apostles he himself chose was Saint John, whom we also call Saint John the Evangelist, because he wrote one of the Gospels, which is in the Bible. And Saint John was especially dear and beloved to our Lord because he was so pure and he was filled with charity and love towards God and for his neighbor. And in fact, it was Saint John who rested his head against the chest of our Lord at the Last Supper. And Saint John himself heard the Sacred Heart beating. And then, right at the end, all the way until the death of Jesus, Saint John, he was there with Our Lady, only so to keep company with to Our Lord in his dark hour. This Saint John, he was the brother of the Apostle Saint James, and one day Our Lord had asked these two brothers if they could drink the same cup of sufferings he was going to drink. And the two apostles, uh, James and John, they both courageously declared that they were ready to suffer anything for him. Remember, children, when the bishop confirmed uh, you and he gave you a little slap on your uh, cheek, uh, that slap was meant to remind you for the rest of your life that you, as soldier of Christ, must be willing to go through everything, any suffering, and even death itself, for the sake of Jesus Christ. After the, uh, after the apostles, uh, James and John, had given their answer that they indeed are ready to follow him everywhere, our Lord told them that they would indeed suffer very much for his sake. And so it came about that every apostle, except today's Saint, Saint John, they died as martyr. Saint John's proper feast day is December 27th, and if you remember, his feast is celebrated with white vestments because he didn't shed his blood and died for Christ. But he still went through the pains of martyrdom, and those pains we celebrate or commemorate on this day when we have the feast of Saint John before the Latin again. By the end of the very first century, Saint John was the only apostle who was still alive. All the others had been martyred, and he was known and loved by 
all Catholics throughout the whole world because of his great love and charity. But at last, St. John too, he was arrested in the city of Ephesus during the terrible persecution of uh, Catholics ordered by the evil emperor Domitian. St. John was taken to Rome and brought before this cruel emperor. And even though our saint was at that point very, very old, the cruel emperor felt no pity for him. He commanded St. John to be whipped and then thrown into a pot of boiling oil. And after he heard this sentence of death, the apostle's face lit up with great joy. He wanted with all his heart to suffer everything for Jesus and even die for Jesus, just like he, has pro he had promised to him when he was, was still a very young man. And, and St. John was also very anxious to see his beloved master again in heaven together with his mother, Blessed Virgin Mary, whom he had taken care after our Lord had died and resurrected and went up to heaven. But even at this very late and old age, God worked a miracle to save St. John from the burning oil. In fact, this burning oil did not hurt him at all, and when he was taken out, he even looked better and stronger than when he was put in. This made the emperor so, so angry uh, that he sent St. John into exile on the island of Patmos. And it was on that island when St. John died a very holy death, the last of the apostles to die. But in the death of the final apostle didn't mean the death or end of the church. But through our bishops, we still have that same Catholic church continuing even on this very day. Dear children, you also have received this great mark into your soul of being soldier of Jesus Christ when you were confirmed. In baptism, you have become children of God and heirs of heaven, but it is all of our duty to grow up and take responsibility and instead of being little children, be uh, good and courageous soldiers of Jesus. We are always called to defend our holy Catholic faith and also to help our priests and bishops to work for the kingdom of God on earth, the Catholic Church, so that we could one day go to heaven and we should want very, very much to go to heaven, just like St. John so much wanted. It is very hard in our own day, which is so filled with hatred and sin and wars on all the other kinds of evils. It is hard to be a good and courageous soldier of Christ. But we don't do that with our own strength. We do that with the strength of the sacraments, which is why we should go to communion and under to uh, confession very often. And it is also Our Lady who grants us so many graces and helps throughout our lives. So we must never neglect to say our morning and evening her prayers uh, to her and also recite her holy rosary on the daily. Then we are courageous soldiers like the apostles were on earth and then companions and saints of Jesus and Mary in heaven. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.